is not getting yours, it's getting you. Is that plain? Yes. You all understand that? Yes. Hello? You understand? Yes. So you want to be careful. Want to be careful. It's nonsense. People say, well anyway, these two pastors provoke me. Uh, these two pastors came to me and they're real nice people. They started talking, they say, well, Bishop, why do miracles happen for you? And I said to them, you know, the truth is, the miracles don't happen because I have a gift. The miracles happen because, and this is the only reason miracles happen, because the gospel of redemption is preached. If you preach the gospel of redemption, Signs are bound to happen. Miracles are bound to happen. Why? Because God confirms his word with signs following. Was that plain? Yes. Hello? Yes. It's nice to excuse things and say, well, it's, not, yeah, yeah. it's the parent. And it's big responsibility having kids. How are you going to manage? Wonderfully. Children are the most easy if you love them. I worry when, when people won't put their arms around a child and show them affection. Something wrong. I worry when people aren't affectionate. something wrong when Christ lives in you do you know the little children came up to him they sat on his lap he cuddled them in this day and age you'd have people come and accuse him he blessed them you know and the disciples said keep the kids away Jesus said no let them come children I love going up to the school and the kids come. When, when I came over this morning, uh, I, I came upstairs uh, and a little smiling face greeted me. I love it. I, I think the greatest gift of all is children. Don't you? Hey? Greatest gift. And, and you know, why is it we've got a section of our society that's avowed to destroy the family unit. That's working with politicians to disrupt the very fabric of society. That's trying to say that it's wrong. Well, I'm for standing for what's right. And I'm for standing up and saying, hey, as for me and our house, it's children. And we're going to believe husband, wife, family. Is that plain? Yes. And, and huh. I have many things to say and to judge of you, but he that sent me is true. And I speak to the world those things which I have heard of him. They understood not that he spake to them of the Father. Then said Jesus unto them, when you have lifted up the Son of Man, then shall you know that I am He, and that I do nothing of myself. But as my Father hath taught me, I speak these things, and He that sent me is with me. The Father hath not left me alone, for I do always those things that please Him. Isn't that wonderful? Hey, and when Christ lives in you, uh, you, you kind of end up doing what pleases God. It's just the way it is. <laughs> you're, you're a son of God. Uh, and greatest gift of all, to please him. I, I want to please Father. I, I only do those things that please him. Do you know, that is a Christian statement. Anyone who's a Christian, that's the way to live. It's not a doctrine. It's just the way it is. Not under law. 
all things are lawful to me, not all things are expedient, you know? But it's great to have a free life. I said to these two pastors, dear men, I said, you know, the problem with you fellows is you've learnt legalism. You don't preach the gospel, you preach method. You know, when someone wants to get healed, it's not a question of, of they're healed because you have a formula. They're healed because you care. And you care because God cares. And God loves enough to heal the sick, deliver the captive. And that's it. And, and miracles and healings are just part of the package. And that's what makes everything so wonderful. You know, it's, it's kind of, I, I, I was worried about you, darling. Stand up. Yeah, I was worried about this girl the other week. She wasn't here. And, and I thought, she needs a miracle. And, and I looked for her, and she wasn't here. But I saw her this morning when I came in. And I thought, you know, God, she needs a miracle. Just reach out your hands to her. Father, Father, I just thank you for this woman. Lord, I just pray your peace will come within the depths of this being. Lord, I rebuke the devourer. Lord, I command all the pressures to go from this life. Lord, heal every part of her being. Let that healing flow flow to her right now. Lord Jesus, you're a good God. You so care. You so love. Reach in. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen.